In a sunny little valley called Fruityville, where the orchards bloomed with juicy treasures and the bees buzzed happy tunes, lived a curious girl named Zara and her chatty guinea pig, Pip. Zara loved fruit. Apples, bananas, you name it. But one day, while picking snacks from her garden, she spotted something odd, a fuzzy peach and a prickly kiwi, both covered in hair. Pip! She giggled, holding them up. Why do some fruits have hair? Are they growing beards or tickling the trees? Pip squeaked and wiggled his nose. Eep, eep! Let's find out. It's a hairy adventure. With a basket of fuzzy finds and Pip tucked in her pocket, Zara skipped through Fruityville to the oldest tree in the valley, a wise apple tree named Granny Gala. Her branches were heavy with shiny apples, and her leaves rustled like she was laughing. Granny Gala, Zara called, waving her peach. Why do some fruits have hair? Granny Gala swayed gently and chuckled. Oh, Zara and Pip, that's a peachy question. Sit under my shade. I'll tell you the fuzzy tale. Zara plopped onto the grass, and Pip scampered out, nibbling a blade. Granny Gala's voice was warm as she began. Long ago, fruits were smooth as marbles, all shiny and plain. But some clever ones decided they needed a little coat. That hair you see? It's their special armor. For peaches, it's soft fuzz, like a cozy sweater to keep bugs away and shield them from too much sun. For kiwis, it's tougher hair, like a spiky shield to scare off nibblers. Zara's eyes sparkled. So it's fruit fur? Granny Gala nodded. Exactly. It's their way to stay safe and snug, Pip squeaked. Eep, bug armor? Granny Gala rustled her leaves. Yep, that fuzz tickles bugs right off. No snacks here, it says, and it keeps the fruit cool when the sun's blazing. Plus, it's a little hug from nature. Each hair helps them grow big and tasty. Zara ran her fingers over the peach's fuzz. It's so soft. But why's the kiwi prickly? Granny Gala winked with a twig. Kiwis are tough cookies. Their hair's like a porcupine's quills. Back off, critters. It's their jungle trick from way back when. Zara giggled. So they're hairy heroes? Granny Gala swayed. You bet. And here's the fun part. Some say the hair makes them extra special. Peaches feel like velvet, kiwis like a funny brush. It's nature's way of saying, I'm one of a kind. Pip rolled onto his back, squeaking. Eep, eep, special fuzz, Zara laughed. Do all fruits get hair? Granny Gala shook her branches. Not all. Apples like me stay smooth, but the hairy ones. They're the fuzzy stars of Fruityville. Just then, a breeze carried a peach scent and a fuzzy caterpillar crawled by, tickling Pip's nose. Eep, he squealed, tumbling into Zara's lap. She scooped him up and grabbed her kiwi. Let's test the fuzz, she said, brushing it against Pip's fur. Tickly, Pip giggled, wriggling free. Zara tossed the peach in the air, catching it with a grin. It's like a fluffy ball. A nearby bird swooped down, eyeing the fruit, but the kiwi's prickles made it flap away. See, Pip, hair power, Zara cheered. As the sun dipped low, painting the valley golden, Zara hugged Granny Gala's trunk. So fruits have hair to stay safe and special? Granny Gala rustled happily. That's right, their fuzzy coats are nature's gift. Zara smiled. I love hairy fruits, Pip squeaked back. Eep, me too. Back home, Zara lined up her fuzzy treasures, stroking their hair. Good night, fuzzy friends, she whispered. Pip curled up beside her, dreaming of tickly kiwis. In Fruityville, every hairy fruit was a little champion, and Zara couldn't wait to munch them all.